Seth, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm glad to speak to speak with you. Uh, seen the film uh, a few nights ago. Um, loved it. You know the ideas, the you know the social commentary. It's always uh, to me, you know, the best part of these uh, Pudge films. Um, just to get started, um, when you first read uh, the script uh, from James De Monaco, what were your thoughts and how excited were you to be, you know, getting to work in that future? You know, that I was I future? was pretty pretty excited because, in all truthness, when my agent told me there's a project, it's a purge movie, I was like, wrong guy. What do you mean? And then I read <laughs> the treatment, and 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 I fell in love with it. I was like, oh wow, this is powerful. Mexicans, you know, true Mexicans at the center of a big Hollywood movie that excited me. The political aspect excited me. The horror aspect excited me. And then talking with James um, and knowing that he wanted to go back to the roots of, of the DNA of his creation. He felt that through the years, you know, maybe it got a little bit more Hollywood washed and he wanted to go back to that raw power. And that's where I connected with him, also knowing that it was only a treatment. So we had a lot of freedom of, of me giving him truthful input on what it is to be Mexican and the Mexican experience in the United States so that it felt real and not, again, just a Hollywood version of, oh, yeah, there's a Latino, but you don't really go into their intimacy. So all so, of that, all of that was, yeah. Yeah, given that authenticity, uh, I think definitely, you know, came across. Um, you know, you do about to create a blend, you know, between the, the action scenes and the, the storytelling. You know, how challenging is it to get that right balance? It's it's very it's challenging, right? Because because you you want to be truthful, you want to be authentic, you want to be visceral, and then you want to entertain foremost. So so it's always a little dance on how much is too much, you know, and and should I go back to you know a notch less and notch more so that it keeps on moving so that it keeps on entertaining, but still all the vitamins are hidden in the, in the icing of the cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the way that we, we, you used to um, talk about it, right? When I was speaking with Anna, um, you know, she mentioned um, that working with you, there was this, uh, you know, freedom uh, on set. Um, how important is it to, to have that input, even with, you know, a film with a big budget like this? To, to me, it's all about, um, I like happy sets. I don't like screamers, you know? I, I think that you're better. You, you express yourself better when you, have, when you can talk about it instead of demanding something to be X way or Y Z way. And, and, and my camera is always is not shy, you know? Luis Sanz did an amazing photographic work. And uh, I'm not shy of, 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 you know, of doing bold things with the camera, but the most important to me are the actors and the truth that you can get out of them. So it's very important for me that they feel loose and that they feel confident. And I always say, actor do, and then camera follows. It's not the other way around, you know? So <laughs> that's the way that I like to keep it, yeah. A lot of the movie uh, deals with real-world issues, especially you know, immigration that's really at the the center. Um, does it make your job as a director any easier, uh, given how immigration is still very much, you know, the main issue for politics and in the news as well? Uh, does it make it easier uh, for you as a director to tackle that, given how much of a, an issue that it still is? Yeah, I think that you have to you have to again find the truth on the material. And in this case, I have a first side, in, you know, on on immigration and. And the dancing between the two countries where in America, you only hear the American side of it. And in Mexico, we know that we are an intrinsic part for the economics of America to exist and to function. If suddenly all the Mexicans would disappear for the America, the country will collapse overnight. So, you know, there's, there's that dance of, of, yes, we send the trucks filled with cocaine and then we get them back filled with guns because in Mexico, it's, you can't buy any gun. It's not legal. So all the, all the violence that we have in Mexico is imported from, the United, from guns from the United States. So that, it's that you know, little dance that, that it's important to, to keep in mind when you do you know, a movie like this and you try to be as truthful as, as you can, again, without trying to be moralistic or ju just entertaining people. That's all the time I've got, uh, but ever other, thank you so much, uh, and good luck thank with you, the brother. movie's release. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!